Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over the best farming spot I found in chapter 2. This one is nice and even more comfortable than our chapter 1 farming spot as it takes place right outside Wizwald. Before we start, these passes are nice to have so the farming process is as fast as possible. JP up at level 9 and JP up and up at level 12 from Freelancer so we can get the most JP feasible. Bare Knuckle Brawler at level 3 from Monk provides a massive damage increase which helps in killing the enemies without using any resources. Raw Power at level 7 from Beastmaster helps in giving a 10% damage increase to physical attack for each time we brave. Indiscriminate Rage at level 11 from Berserker. This lets your normal attacks now hit every enemy. Pair this together with Beer Knuckle Brawler and watch them drop like flies. Rare Talent at level 10 from Gambler is nice to have as it increases rare drop items by 10% up to 40% if everyone has it on. If you have yet to unlock the Gambler job, I'll have a link to my guide in the description and the cards on the upper right. Some abilities that'll help are Fyra at level 6 from Black Mage. Most of the enemies we're about to fight are weak or take neutral damage from the fire element. Mow Down at level 5 from Beastmaster is a great alternative to indiscriminate rage. Put on your best gear and don't forget to leave your right and left arm empty if you're using the beer knuckle brawler passive. If you want to tell if you'll gain more physical damage from beer knuckle brawler, have the passive equipped, then go to your gear and look at the weapon you wanted to use. If it is still red, this means Bare Knuckle Brawler is better. If it turns blue, however, this means the weapon is a better choice. Now that we're set, let's get started. You'll want to start off by fighting the ants outside of town. Before we start, eat an insect nectar if you have one. If you don't have one, these ants will drop one, which allows us to go infinite in this area. I recommend braving four times with your physical DPS to take full advantage of raw power and have them each kill a wave. When we're done killing the insects around Wizwall, we want to move west where there's going to be a pack of 3 to 4 insects. Don't forget to use tents if you're running low on HP or MP. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video brought value to you, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more. Until the next video, I'll see ya.